What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Pace Studio here in Midtown Manhattan, New York City. We are broadcasting to you live from the Manhattan Center here on 34th Street, as always. And we are joined by a very, very special guest right now. This is Spafford. What's going on, guys? What's up? Hey. Welcome to our cabin here in Midtown. Thank you. Uh, we built this just for you, and uh, we're going to break it all down in about 30 minutes. <laughs> Build it all again tomorrow for somebody else. All right. Um, so these guys have uh, a new record coming out May 4th. It's your second studio album, but I feel like it's like your 149th release. Or something like that, maybe six hundred and three hundred six hundred and ninetieth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah nine hundred and fortieth release. A lot, a lot of releases. Yeah, a lot, lot of releases. Release. But only the second like recorded release studio. Or, or studio, studio. release. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's called For Amusement Only. Uh comes out on May fourth. So we're gonna hear a couple songs uh from that record. I think we're gonna do one cover today as well. But uh tell me a little bit about what we're starting out with. Uh this is a song called Minds Unchain. Uh, I was inspired to write this after a poem of our good friend Chuck Johnson. Um, yeah, here, here it goes. All right. Thank you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I want to ask you about this uh, record coming out. It's called For Amusement Only. Um, it's coming out May 4th. 
This is your first studio record in five years since uh, the first one, which was self-titled from 2012. So I guess six years, actually, yeah. if I redo the math. <laughs> it's six years. Yeah, um, I believe it even came out in May of that year. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So we it's like five years and... Well, no, that's right. Yeah, it'll be You're actually right yeah, six yeah. Years, yeah. yeah, looking ahead to the future. <clears throat> yeah. um, we're two months from six years. All right, I'm done with doing the math. Yeah. Uh, Sorry. So, uh, so you know, I, I know you guys. I mean, you guys are known as a live band, and you release every show that you do. There have been like live albums, but then there are also just like shows about among shows on top of shows. Um, so, how do you know when it's time to like release a new record? You know what? What made it? What made now the time to put out number two? Well, that one was at least up to us. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, all the live stuff. It's like we try and get away from it. You know. Yeah. But it it always gets posted, or it always did. So I mean, yeah. it was kind of our you know idea from the beginning was just give the music out. So yeah, we couldn't get away from that. So at least with the studio stuff, the studio stuff, we could take time with it to really. You know, I get to redo some solos, you know? Yeah. Like, we all get to redo some stuff that, that we might have messed up on or, or something that we want to be tighter or something. So it's a lot more fun, and it's a different way to look at each each of the songs as well. So it brings a completely different light to to the writing process and everything. Yeah. Uh, you know, I was wondering if it was almost like if the, if the opposite is also true, though. Like, you know, you guys play these songs so many times, and they're often so different. There's a lot of improv every night. Uh, you guys are always sort of changing things up with how songs go. So when you're in the studio, is it hard to like walk away from a recording and be like, yeah, that's that's the one that will live on forever. That's the solo that I want to keep. There's a certain beauty in just having to accept it. I mean, you spend as much time as you possibly can. You walk away. I mean, you may walk away feeling satisfied and decide that you're not later, or it could be vice versa. And you think it's terrible when you're there and then you give it a break and you go back and listen to it and it's like, okay, that was special. So it's got kind of a give and take with it. You know? Yeah. But it's, you know, it's hard, it's hard to find the time to have the time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we are a very live band, so getting in the studio, it does take a while, especially if you want to get it right. And so. Yeah. And when you go in the studio, you know, uh, is there like a, a blueprint that you guys have? Like, you know, these songs you've been compiling over the years, I mean, these are songs that your fans have been hearing for a while. Uh, so they're like very much, you know, like they're, 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 they're focused in your mind. And then you go into the studio, do you have like a battle plan? Like this is sort of how we know we want these basically to go? Yeah, I mean, you know, to take a song that we could do, you know, live is 28 minutes or something or 14 minutes, whatever it is, you know. Um, uh, you know, to go in the studio and try and make it like three and a half minutes or three minutes and five seconds, you know, something yeah. like that is, is, is hard to do. So it's kind of like the same setup with this. The more that we take away from, from us is, is the shorter the songs kind of will get, but like almost the more impactful they, they are as well. So, um, you know, these, this sort of process is really fun for us just as, as well as the studios too. Yeah. Cool, man. Uh, so we're going to do uh, a couple more with Spafford. Uh, one is from the new record. Uh, I think a cover is coming up too. I'm not sure which is the order. Tell me a little bit about this next one we're going to do. Um. <clears throat> what's next? What's up? Cover. Uh, the cover. Cover. Let's do it. Okay. All right. We'll do a cover. This is a uh, a cover. Lucky Man by Emerson Lake and Palmer. Cool. Yeah. <laughs>
Been going off the whole time in the background. <laughs> At least I'm in tune because it wouldn't make that noise. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Um, I mean, that's a you know that's a serious song. Uh, how do you guys choose your covers typically? Is it like a you know I mean democratic that, decision? Yeah, I mean we always everybody brings something to the table and, and we always try it and like we kind of have a general idea if it works for the band or not, you know? I mean, this song, I, I grew up listening to this song. My father introduced me to Emerson Lake and Palmer at a young age. It was the second concert I ever been to. So playing that means a lot to, to me. And, you know, a, a couple of years ago, I brought that song to the table and, and everyone was like, yeah, let's play it, you know? So, yeah, you know, doing this today, we just kind of dug it out and put it together in this, you know, configuration. So, yes, yeah, cool. Um, I mean, you know, it's like, it's funny. I mean, I, you know, I think of you guys, you know, as, as this live band, it's like, it's a, it's a fun, jammy time. It's a dance show. Um, and, you know, it's interesting to think about that song in particular, which is a pretty somber song about a guy who's lucky enough to, like, go off and get killed in a war. Um, and so, you know, I was, I was wondering as you guys were playing it, like, you know, this many years now into your songwriting career and with a record coming out and presumably more to go, like what, what moves you now, you know, in terms of what's out there in the world to write songs about that maybe has changed from when you were just starting out and just like having fun all the time, or maybe you still are. 
I mean, I think it's still all the same stuff, like having fun or not, you know, making this a career or not or anything. Like, I know my life personally still has plenty of ups and downs and, like, sad things to write about and happy things to write about. Still experience loss and, you know, joy and all of these things. Like, that doesn't change, you know, at least not for me and I don't think ever for anyone. You know, yeah. you're always going to feel, there's always going to be stuff to write about. You're always going to maybe read something on the news or meet someone or have something happen in your life that's like, you know, or you meet someone who has words that you have never could think to put together yourself and you take the words and then you write the music. So it's like... I'd like to think that I'm not at the dad rock phase of my career yet, so <laughs> I'm like, be- like well below that. Yeah, so right. like there's a lot of youth to to the things that that I like to bring to the table and stuff like that. So. Yeah, well, you know, and I think you a song like that is sort of timeless in a way, even though I mean, your your dad sure. maybe introduced you to that song, sure, but it has resonance right now for sure. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. yeah. Um, is that something that you kind of look for in in creating? You know, in terms of like something that. Has maybe a meaning for people outside yourselves? You're, you're typically like personal kind of writers? Yeah, I mean, there's there's always some of that. I mean, there's no right or wrong way to do it. And everybody asks, how do you write a song? And I say, there's a hundred different ways you can write a song. So for me, I mean, some some songs are just fun to write. I mean, an instrumental song, it's, it's a, you know, I didn't write it because I was, you know, staring out the window one day and it was like really sad and, you know, and I wrote, you know, virtual bean dip or something like that. Like, it's just, it's not how it happened. It's just a song, you know? Yeah. So sometimes it doesn't need to have this huge meaning behind it. But um, but there are songs out there that do, and you have to keep an eye out, and you have to dig and um, and find those. And, and just because it means something to me, lyrically or, or musically, it, it might not carry that way to somebody else. The lyrics could completely mean something different. And so there's always kind of, like, room there with lyric lyrics to, like, you know, let it be interpreted however the listener wants to wants it to be. Yeah, you know? yeah, cool. Um, so we're gonna do uh, one more today with Spafford. Um, I believe this one is also from the new album, which is called For Amusement Only. Yeah, yeah. This I mean, is a song called Ain't That Wrong. Yeah, off of For. Is that a question? Or I don't a know. Statement? I actually wasn't like, ain't listening. Ain't that wrong? I, or, yeah. Oh, ain't that wrong? Or, or like you know? Uh, no, ain't that wrong? Is is a statement? It's a statement. Yeah, ain't that wrong. Yeah, <laughs> I think it could have a question mark in there. It, hey, man, whatever. Semicolon. Hey, yeah, whatever it means to you, lyrics, you know? Right. Yeah. Maybe just a yeah. colon. Yeah, or, right. Semicolon. I interpret a question mark, so. Um, how did we do this? Are we doing this? Yeah, yeah. All right, well, give us a shot.
Thank you, guys. Thanks, man. Thank yeah, man. Have you played that song this way? No. Before? No. Yeah. Once before this, maybe like maybe. Yeah, like ten minutes maybe ago. Ten, ten minutes, minutes ago. ago. Yeah, yeah well, before we started. Right before we started it. Yeah. Uh, sounds great, man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, I'm not. I mean, I know you guys. I've seen you play some acoustic instruments like on stools before. Uh, but I don't know. Yeah, I've never heard. I'm, well, I guess I've never heard that song. So I guess maybe that's my. <sighs> you know, it's a new. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Spafford, uh, the new album is called For Amusement Only. It's coming out on May 4th, um, the second studio LP. Uh, you guys are on tour, as always. Uh, Spafford.net <laughs> is the place to find yeah. the, uh, the dates. Uh, 420 in Atlanta. And uh, a bunch of festivals coming up. There's Bonnaroo, there's Firefly, all the festivals. Uh, catch these guys outdoors this summer. Yeah. Um, and uh, the singles are out, right? Leave the Light On is out, mm -hmm. right? And yep. I think, is Hollywood out as well? I don't know if that went out to... I don't know yet. Yeah, I don't know either. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, we'll yeah, go back on that. But Leave we'll... the Light On is yeah. out. Um, check it out. Okay. Uh, and definitely pick up uh, For Amusement Only, the aptly titled on May 4th. Yeah. Uh, Spafford, guys, thank you so much for coming to Paste. Thank playing you. Playing in our log cabin for us today. Have fun on the road. And uh, come back and play us again when you're back through New York, yeah? Will do. Yeah. All right, yeah. cool. Thanks.